Hey guys, we are continuing my in-depth exploration of Legends of Runeterra. We did three videos already regarding Zorn. So we checked out cards, we checked out voice lines, we checked out some stories behind it or even some censored versions of some cards because in some countries some cards are censored. For example, they uh, delete alcohol of it or they erase the fact that someone stole because, you know, stealing is bad. And, you know, God forbid you see a Legends of Runeterra stealing card and then you go and steal yourself you know <laughs> i've been enjoying this content and i hope you have been too it's been prepared for me by my friend ingo so major shout out as always basically what we're doing we are checking out 13 cards around more or less and today we are starting a new region i always say that i'm very excited about this because i always am but this time i am like extra excited because we are heading from zone to build over i think you know what that means <laughs> <laughs> my shipping heart is beating fast right now i know who we're going to see in this one by the way i wanted to ask uh, we checked out zone we checked out pilt over what region would interest you next because if we're going to continue this series uh, i'll make the decision after pilt over to see how how big the interest is so i do count on you guys on comments and leaving likes it's helping me a lot and then i know that it's really worth it because there's a lot of hustle with these videos now if i'm interested to see what region would you prefer next i'm gonna do a poll on my channel maybe it's already there of course while well, i did major shout out to my patrons thank you so much and if anyone could join patreon i appreciate your help a lot there's unedited reactions there to uh, shows that i'm reacting to as well as early access to these videos all right jumping straight to it first card first card is called double agent and the card doesn't actually exist in the in the game itself i mean it does it's from from the game but i guess you can all only see it in a certain in a certain game mode like i had that problem before couldn't find a certain card and it turned out that it's some sort of a special card if you have it then you have it if you don't then you don't so i don't and but i do have it on my second screen with all the info about the cards wardens are paid well for their loyalty camp barons pay even better Smart folk can have both, long as they don't get caught. Oh, so so you're that type of a dude. We have some voice lines. I can see all the players from here. I'm always on the right side of things. Oh, right. That's very con conformistic of you. Opportunities double-edged. <laughs> like a sword. Second card called Flash Bomb Peddler. And you know what else makes these babies even better than mushrooms? You decide when they explode. How's that for value? Oh, it's some sort of um, hex deck, hex deck little bombs. Oh, and there's a guy that I know from Zone. He's selling the mushrooms. <laughs> I think we have an info folder on that. Flash bombs and puff cups are both traps that are placed in the opponent's deck in Legends of Runeterra. While Timo uses puff cups, it is Caitlyn who uses the flash bombs. Here we see their dealers. Caitlyn. Oh, I didn't know you were a snooty. <laughs> Bird card. Patro. Patro. <laughs> Patro Wardens. Warden Mir's sprinting technique was a running joke among the other enforcers. Warden Keppel didn't get it <gasps> oh they're after jinx look at the uh, graffiti on the on the wall they're so after jinx okay we have voice lines vandal struck again the docks this time vandals i wouldn't call jinx i mean she is a vandal but that's the least <laughs> that she is after them after them <laughs> uh backup i'm your backup <laughs> yeah that, that graffiti is pretty pretty self-explaining Card number four, Veteran Investigator. Look at that adorable Yordle being all serious. Now, isn't that adorable? Some officers rely on their instincts to crack a case. Others lean on their contacts. But Officer J.S. Harkness' strength is pure diligence and paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Oh, I wonder if Caitlin would appreciate the fact that he's, you know, handling the paperwork. <laughs> that building is on fire. It has to be some dogs. Maybe this was um, aimed fire sort of a thing. What's the uh, word? I forgot. There's a nice word for it, but I forgot. We have a lot of voice voice lines. Oh, interesting. Vi will appear. Officer J.S. Harknor, Unit 6. Oh, 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 he's British. Stand aside. An expert is at work. <laughs> Minding details is my duty. Minding details is my duty. He has a lot of funny moments with Vi, most likely as they are different as, as one can be. We are not only talking about voice lines. Maybe you remember this part from the short story interrogation. Oh yeah, I remember that interrogation. Hey, Hacknor. Oh, that was him. Vi said to the desk warden when she reached the south. What's so important Caitlin has to drag me from an erotic dream? Oh, oh. 
Uh uh, stop right there, said Harknor without looking up from his elevated desk as he ran a finger down the list of prisoners brought in during the night. I'm not in the mood to hear another of your lurid fantasies. <laughs> About who? Anyway, you sure? Grinned Vi, leaning on his desk and blowing a loose strand of pink hair from her eyes. This was a good one. He had a plot and everything. <gasps> ah, maybe it was part of Arcane Season 2, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a keen mind is my greatest weapon. <laughs> huh. Good luck punching with that. Next violation means a call to Sheriff Kicklin. Ah, uh, I remember that one. <sighs> Sheriff Cupcake can't be mad at me. So it's basically like a your doll Sherlock Holmes. Part number five, insightful investigator. Wait, I don't like how she's attractive. I don't want Caitlin anywhere, anywhere around that. <laughs> All detectives respond, but a good detective anticipates. An exemplary detective prevents. Prevents, wow, okay. So you're very, very, very professional and in-depth. I also believe prevention is the best thing that we can do against crimes. We have a lot of voice lines as well and some include Vi again. First day on the job. The gun's real. <laughs> this is the same crime scene as shown at, at veteran investigators artwork. Oh, okay. So the Yordo is inside. He is inside the building while the insightful is outside. We can also see Warden Capel of the Patriot Warden standing at the door. What's well, exactly the same? Thinking of it, what was their first quote again? Vandals. <gasps> oh. What seems to be the situation? Veteran to insightful. Just in time. I found something. All right. What? Oh, this has a story. Still taking notes. There's criminals to pursue. <laughs> oh, so she's not good with paperwork, that one. Logic and caution separate us from many factors. Vi, Sheriff sends her orders. Excuse me, you're not to be... I, I don't like you giving orders from Caitlin to Vi. We don't need that extra factor in between. I'll chat with Cupcake later. Yeah, we, we have our own bond, so... <laughs> Card number six, Chief Mechanist Zivai. She doesn't look pilt over, pilt over, like, let me tell you that. She pretty much resembles a Zornite. At age five, she made the world's first multi frequency sonic knife. While not very practical, she mostly used it to slice sandwiches. It set her on her way to the Warden's Elite Armaments Department. Oh, also, oh, she's elite. <laughs> you dream it, I'll build it. She's like pilt over version of Echo. Finest gear for pilt over's finest. Outdoors finest. Ooh. Chief Mechanist Ziva is the lead engineer from the official weapons department of Piltover, which employs only the finest minds and surest hands. Ziva lives on the bleeding edge of technology as the foremost technologist of the world and is always eager to push the limits of her inventions. She's thorough, proper, and precise. <laughs> thorough, proper, and precise. The significant digits and doesn't just have a solution to every problem, she has the best solution. Check out the card's stress testing, it gives us an insight on what she's working on. She's working on Plaza Guardian in her artwork, the next card to discover. Stress testing, alright. Oh, look at that, what is that? Is that Vice Gauntlet? It's simple stuff really, I replaced the steel frame with a more durable uh, uh, alloy I invented and rerouted the uh, circuitry away from the hinges to stop the systems from short. Okay, <laughs> not good with that, but it, it does look like Vice Gauntlet. What you got for me, brains? Oh, it makes sense. Vi is also speaking to her. Oh, just you wait. Yeah. Can't say I'll bring your gear back in one piece. <laughs> the gear is replaceable. You aren't. Oh, she appreciates us. I mean, Vi. I'm always like us and me and what. As a guardian, you have 20 seconds to comply. Also, she's been building that. You have seen that artwork before in Boom Crew Rookie's art. Oh yeah, I have. I wouldn't really remember that, but... Oh, that's so nice. It all makes sense. Oh my god, the big one. Ah! Enforce the vibe, please. Think of the people that collateral damage the paperwork for injury claims. Insightful investigator. Look at her. With gauntlets and everything and all happy. That's amazing. Oh my lord. We have so many voice lines here. But let's check out other, other work. This one, I think that happened afterwards. So, looks like your bodies are all tuckered out. You wanna tell me where you hit the hex deck or do you wanna make friends with the wall too? I let my hands do the talking. Here comes the punchline! Oh? Tilt over enforcer on the scene. 
gosh, I love these. I have heard these before because I've been doing so many videos about Caitlin and Vi and, and always checking this out. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I love these. I tried being polite. <laughs> Honestly, I'm expecting like half of these to make to make a uh, visit <laughs> in season two of Arcane. In her level one skin, Insightful Investigator brings up a common problem the wardens have with Vi. One of the loading screens tips says something like Vi's arresting numbers are the best of all the wardens. Unfortunately, she's also to blame for hundred percent of the insurance damage. <laughs> In her gilded skin artwork, we can see a lot of Midden Stalker henchmen. Level 2 also shows a picture of Heimerdinger. The skin has alternative level up animation. You can watch it in game if you follow the instructions. Let's have a look at that actually. Oh, yeah! There's also, I think, some arcane skins, but I'm, I'm gonna have to edit that in because apparently I cannot really see that in game. Never let go of the people you love. Listen, Cupcake, to survive in the Undercity, you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. <gasps> that looks amazing. They look amazing. <gasps> oh, my Lord. Oh, and there's the uh, Soko Bodyguard henchman or something. Gosh, I love I loved that. And they use the word love. <gasps> Vi has heaps of conversations with other champions and supporters. This fits her character very well. She is communicative and likes to have people around her. She is also very flirty with others without this being a hint towards real interest. Yeah, I bet. Following you will get two conversations with Jace. In the first one, he is in her team. and the second one, he is the enemy. And there are some lines with Bilgewater champions in the follow-up. I would say these are not canon voice lines but possible conversations if they ever meet <laughs> one girl wrecking crew <laughs> yeah she's not kidding trust me this is the team one right oh hey the lab rat came out to play lab rat jace oh hey the delinquent got a job <laughs> what we have a proper job better than you jace just using patronage money i'm the one to speak with patreon eh if I hear fat hands one more time. <laughs> Jeez, at least one of us got a sense of humor. If it ain't Little Miss Punch. Twisted Fate and Vi. Oh, it's like a gay little duo. <laughs> Fate, where's your better half? Oh, amazing. This is like a gay club or something. <laughs> Vi, I should have brought flowers. Stop. <laughs> Try cupcakes. <laughs> Am I under arrest? Again. Stop! No, I don't like that. Sometimes I think you like being in cuffs. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> not a big fan of Vi flirting with others, but I'm gonna try and not to act um, insecure there. <laughs> I know she only loves Caitlyn, so. Card number nine, Stink Officer. Zane Asako, like all Zonite kids, had to grow up fast on those violent and dark under streets. After losing his brother to yet another senseless gang crime, he committed himself to belt over enforcement, hoping reason and law would make his home finally safe. Oh, so he's kinda like Vi. We do have some voice lines and some include Caitlyn. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. Zon? Oh yeah, makes sense. Tough places breed tough people. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. Gosh, there's so many people Caitlin knows and we don't know them really. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Oh, he's so polite and respect respectful. Part number 10, Officer Squad. From unloading silently into the street to prepping the ram set up didn't take long. It was just a matter of waiting on Caitlyn's cue. <gasps> ah, I love how Caitlyn is res respected by everyone and so powerful and you know, oh. <laughs> also, this is a very nice graphic, like visually. Visually, it's giving me a nice, nice vibe. We also have some, some, some voice lines here. Backups here! Intel looks good. Affirmative. Ready to breach. <laughs> Intel. Affirmative. They've barricaded the door. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does um, look that way. They always hide, and we always find them. <laughs> this is a concept art. It looks so awesome that they have all this background work on these characters that you will not see in the in the game while playing. Caitlyn can be seen in the background. Oh, would that be her? I didn't really recognize her, but that's so nice, unless that's not her. 
Card number 11, Justice Rider. Officer was witnessed pursuing suspect at a high speed into a trap of her own making. Following the arrest, officer proceeded to submit her own speeding citation and fine claiming somewhat dramatically. Justice is a two-way street. Who the hell is this person? Oh, and there's a cupcake on the art. Anything, anything else familiar? That's interesting. Ready to roll. Just a girl, her motorcycle, and justice. <laughs> Just give me something to chase. <laughs> They're making my job too easy. Another concept art for Justice Rider. We see her chasing down used cask salesman. Alright, I thought that I might have seen that, that dude in the car. And no one can tell me that Kapka is just very bloody accident. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Oh. Stay on him! Backup's on the way! Huh. Damn, Caitlin, Caitlin has... A lot going on with the enforcers. I, I love that Vi has some special privileges. <laughs> Card number 12, Station Archivist. Oh, that looks so nice. And there's a kitten and everything. Detectives are nothing without leads. And Archivist's job is to collect every scrap of intel and create new possibilities where none previously existed. I don't even think that there's so much going on behind the enforcers. Like this entire formal structure, you know? I think we have something on that case. Ah, she's gathering intel and everything. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. <laughs> Say hello to Caitlin's right hand when it comes to office duty. I guess Vi failed on this one. <laughs> and say hello to someone else you already know. This is indeed Professor Von Yip. Yeah, that crossed my mind that it might be him. Doesn't doesn't seem happy and he has a broken broken paw or something. When Echo rearranged his timeline, he ended up as the pet of station archivist. Oh, really? Most likely he is undercover, so not revealing his human mind. I wonder where this may lead. An evil mastermind in middle of Warden's headquarters. And yeah, there's a woman with a flower in her hair. Where have we seen her? I wouldn't say I know who that is specifically, but I remember a woman with her hair and I even remember it meant something, but my memory sucks sometimes. Tea and cookies to go with your dossier, Sheriff? <laughs> Stop sucking up to your boss. Blackleaf Brew, Inspector. And their biscuits. You seem pensive. What's on your mind, Sheriff? Nothing new, I'm afraid. What do you know of C? C? And thus we reach card number 13, Caitlin. Caitlin was always a dogged and thorough investigator, a quality that helped propel her fast through the ranks of piltover enforcement. But when a case concerning a certain C came along, one that countless others and forces had abandoned. It seemed almost as though Caitlyn had finally met her match. Almost. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And then I see the woman with um, the flower, flower in her head. That makes sense. Now, it, yeah, I remember all of it now. And everyone's here, even. The pieces are all here. Their identity is right in front of me. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. The long arm of the law. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Concept art by Riot Danwood Young. All your schemes, all your lies. Why? Karina, yeah, because people have been assuming that she might be season two antagonist, but yeah, there's just so many candidates there. <laughs> Business and pleasure, Sheriff. Face me fist! I'll ask politely, though I can't vouch for my partner. Oh. I'm doing this my way. We are doing this our way. Gosh, I know this so well. Tell Vi. That one. Oh my, no, actually, no, let's not go there. Because my biggest fear is that Caitlyn might die in season two. But I, I, I know it's not going to happen. I know the whole, the whole rule, like champions are safe. But do we really know they are safe until they're not safe? But I'm, I'm, I'm sure it will be fine. I mean, uh, maybe. I hope so. I don't, I don't know. But I, 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 no, fingers crossed. Let's not go there. <laughs> this is Caitlyn's story from Path of Champions. There's also another art, Caitlyn. She bursts in, leveled her rifle at the culprit and looked down the scope. There, smiling through the looking glass, was a familiar face. <gasps> Here's some more artwork. Now, this one is from Battle Academia, which I'm not sure what it means, but we can see Caitlyn and see there. You're new here, Caitlyn, so let me catch you up. Nobody here cares about your weapon or your good grades. Turn your nose up all you like, but if you come in here, assuming this school works like your last, it's gonna eat you alive. I'd like to repay your sentiment, Karina, so let me catch you up. My rifle does not define me and neither does the school. A leader, a general, shapes everything around them, not the other way around. Oh, 
more artwork. The city was by no means perfect, but it was her city. And for Peltover to stand as a true pillar of progress, the city needed to change. Caitlin had been asked to stand before this crowd, to smile and curtsy as she had before. But tonight, she decided it would be different. Now, well, I for sure can see Jinx in the crowd. And I think overall, there's just a lot of people. I think there's Ryder too. And last but not least, Caitlyn Pofire artwork. My aim to win, and my aim... Is excellent. Here's my calling card. Boom. Gosh, it's like she's a mirrored version of Jinx. Right, we're out of Legends of Runeterra for now, sort of, but we are continuing. What we're going to do now, because it fits so well, we're going to watch Path of Champions Caitlyn's story. It's just a short video, and if you'd like me to react to other ones, because I think there's Jinx, Vi, Echo, and Jace, then I could make a separate video. But this one, so Caitlyn, it just fits right in here. Get up, Tremello. We've got a lead. Ah, little warning would be nice, Kate. Is this, is this a sea case? Of course it's the sea case. We intercepted another shipment. That's amazing. And I figured out where it's coming from. Ooh. But w what if it's a trap? Seems kind of convenient. Maybe we should get a little more evidence. No. I'm tired of waiting, of reacting. This is our best. No, I don't need no evidence. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Caitlin, help me. Tramello, what are you doing here? With the sheriff. Interesting. Oh, whatever. Caught the little doodle dangle sneaking around my stuff. Oh, she's on mushrooms. Please get out of my way. I'm not even here for you. <laughs> you know, Kate, gotta give you points for originality. But I ain't buying it. So, Path of Champions has proper stories. Jeez, this is important. Where's C? Uh, who? Uh, I guess you weren't kidding about the whole not here for me thing. <laughs> uh, my bad. Oh. But if it's all the same, I think I'm gonna keep this sweat bucket for myself. Caitlin, please! <gasps> no, no! Built over enforcement! Free! Oh! Caitlin! Ah! Oh shit, that's so intense! Nice, you got a new power. Save Tremelo, pursue C. <gasps> oh, that's amazing. There's actually choices in the game. Elena, it was you all alone? <laughs> oh, Caitlin. The look on your face is as beautiful as my most precious flower. You knew everything. It's no wonder we couldn't track you down. It's true. I knew so much. And you? So okay, new. don't rub it in. I give up, Sheriff. You did so very well. I trusted you, Karina. I took you for a person of good standing. Yes, you did. You all did. And how well you served me. Why well, she failed? Well, at least Piltover can finally rest. Mm. But my dear... You forgot one thing. To kill the flower, you must pull out all of its roots. Oh, we are infiltrators. Right infiltrators. So that's the second path. I knew you were stubborn, but this, this is a surprise. I must admit, my dear Caitlin, I did not think you had the stomach to leave one of your own behind. Damn. One of mine? Or one of yours? <laughs> oh, clever He was a spy? Girl. Hold it, Sheriff. You're gonna let her go. And we're gonna forget all about this. Oh, what a traitor. You're a little late, Tremello, as usual. And I assumed Karina would have backup. So I brought some too. Oh. What's up, Tremors? Yay! Bye. Oh no! So, sate my curiosity. How long ago did you realize Tremello was a bad seed? She's so smart. At first I thought he was just incompetent. There were the shoddy leads and botched investigations. 
Then I noticed he'd always offer to help out whenever the sea case came up. Whoa. The penny dropped back at the storehouse. I didn't ask for backup, but still he followed. Huh. Then when he spotted you, it was clear he was only there to distract me. The poor man was left to think on his feet once he'd found your lead. Shame. A shame indeed. For both of you. Whoa. It's a cold talk. That's about it when it comes to Pelt of One. Let me know how are you enjoying these videos and if you want me to continue, we'll be continuing at least with Pelt Over for now. And yeah, I appreciate every bit of a comment. It would be awesome if you guys enjoyed these videos as much as I am. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon with Pelt Over number two. Also familiar champions there. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Stay safe, guys. This was Olaf from Stop Me All Channel. Bye.